Hello and welcome to another edition of Out and About. This week we're visiting a movie shoot to see what goes on behind the scenes of a professional film set. Let's get this show on the road. Well, this looks like a good place to start. Let's find out what the director has to tell us about his tasks. Excuse me, didn't I just see you outside directing traffic? Yes, I'm the director. And that work out there is the most important direction I'll do today. Well, obviously, these directors are jesters at heart. But still, I suppose they've got to be to keep the sanity in this job. Well, here we have the sound stage. This is where all the action of movie making takes place. Let's see if we can find a cameraman. Oh, excuse me. You must be the cameraman. Yeah. What can you tell us about the different aspects of your job? I'm supposed to keep everything in frame. But them glasses, I mean, can you see clearly through them? Because they look like a frosted sort to me. No, that's the focus puller's job to load the scene. I'll just do the pointing. You don't have a dog and bark yourself. Quiet, quite, quite, yeah. Well, there's another very important job that shouldn't be undertaken by any old amateur. Uh, you must be the focus puller. Yes, you could put it that way, sir. What exactly do your responsibilities entail? Well, let me see. It's to keep the focus in just the right position. Mm. Yeah. Amazing. It's so enlightening to be privileged to see the real goings-on on the movie set. We could all learn so much. Well, I've managed to find the sound man. Maybe you can show us how they managed to control the sound on these award-winning productions that Deadwood Studios are famous for. Can you tell us about the sound? Hey, The sound. What's that? Can you hear me? It's ten to three. Now, can you tell us how you, how you do the sound? Oh, the sound. Oh, it's dead easy. All I've got to do is make sure I don't get no sound interference from sound what shouldn't be there. And there's no problem because it's a real good studio. No interference. You'll have to excuse me. Well, we've seen some of the obvious jobs. But there's one that those outside the trade may not be so familiar with. The next professional you'll see will be responsible for continuity. Can you tell us about the continuity? What responsibilities you have? By gum, continuity is an important job they knows. Basically, it's making sure there's no changes between shots. Subtle things like change your clothes, things jumping about without moving, things like that. I see. Mm. Well, you'd never think it. Any changes, no matter how small the camera catches, can look so unprofessional, not to our standard. We want to convince the audience that there's a character there what should be there, and not more than the editor intended. I thought the scriptwriter decided on the characters. Ah, nay, in the real world of movie making, the editor has the last say every time. Mind you, we always keep the title the same. So the writer of the work knows when they've won an award. Right, excuse me, they tell me you're in yeah, charge of... Who was that then? Oh, yeah, me as a stuntman. Really? But we're only on the ground floor. Well, they do anything to get a laugh, he will. And what's your job then? Oh, I'm the special effects man. 
Special effects, really? Does your work get all used first time? Yeah, well, no, not really. The sensor cuts most of it out, unfortunately. The sensor? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, let's go and look at this ruthless vandal. Right, Charlie. Ooh, no, no. That'll have to go. It's getting worse. Ooh, I'll know that myself. That's a good one. I've been told I've been told to come and see you to find out what's involved in being a sensor. It's the most technical job out. One slip of this and everybody's work's on the floor. That's another good one. It looks very skilled. Have you been doing it long? Ooh, donkey's years. But the trouble is it's getting harder. Rather that I can't see my eyes seem to be getting worse. I can't show these shots. Yes, mm. Mm. Well, thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm fed up with this. Like a little lunatic asylum. Well, I'm only doing my job. After all, I am the editor. 